Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a um, image transfer and I'm going to be doing some overpainting over the top using scribble sticks. So this is me doing an image transfer in my journal. Um, I've got an image that I wanted to use which is a picture of me wearing a crown and I'm just sticking it into my journal. Now usually when I'm doing things like this I wouldn't actually cut the image out but I'd cut it out for something else and had it spare and I thought I'd Put it into my journal. The reason I wouldn't necessarily fussy cut around my image to begin with is that um, it can allow the gel medium to sort of seep into the edge of the image and seal it so you can't get it um, removed as easily. Now I am really really cheating with this and I'm heating up with a heat gun to dry it off. They really are best to leave um, overnight or for a little while. You also notice when I um, put the gel medium on, I put it on my page and I put it on the photograph. So um, putting it on the two surfaces and gluing them together is the best way. You saw me use a uh, credit card or a gift card to sort of um, press it out and to make sure I had a good seal on it. So now all I'm doing is using wet wipe or you can just use a spray in your finger to rub away the um, image and you can see you're getting a fairly clear um, result. You'll notice down the bottom I've rubbed away some of the transfer, that's okay, they are always going to look grungy. If I wanted a perfect picture I would have just stuck the photo in itself. Um, you know, it's just to do something new. You will notice across my face I have a nice pink streak, that's because I actually had some paint in the background to begin with. I didn't really think about it um, because I'm using clear gel medium obviously um, I'm going to see what's underneath it so you can actually do an image transfer over something you've already patterned you've already got just to make it um, see through. You'll notice it got a little bit cloudy there and I'm just going back over the wet wipe to um, rub off the excess. If it goes cloudy it means you've still got paper pulp on the surface. One of the tricks I have found to do this though and that was thanks to the very talented um, Leanne Jago who does a lot of image transfers is once you've got your transfer to where you want it cover it over with a thin coat of gel medium that will seal your transfer and it means if you're going to do what I'm doing now and paint over it and stencil over it that you can wipe away any paint if it gets somewhere you don't want it to be really really easily because your image is actually sealed. Um, so I've found that a really handy trick. The What I'm doing now is what you see a lot of me doing on this um, page or on this channel sorry is putting some acrylic paint down and just wiping through with a um, stencil um, with a wet wipe brush and you'll notice I'm deliberately overlapping the color so I'm going over the um, orangey color and um, wiping it away and that means when I wipe this red away I'm going to get some of that orange coming through so you get this sort of effect happening. You notice I've got some extra paint onto my face and I've just wiped that away with a wet wipe um, to make sure that the image itself is kind of staying true. The story to the photo is um, I went out to the shops one day thinking I had my sunglasses on my head and wandered around the shop. I had a few people sort of look at me, no one said anything to me, got home, unpacked the shopping, went to the um, bathroom, looked in the mirror and there I had a, a tiara on my head because I've been doing dress up with the girls at home and yep popped that on my head had no idea thought I had my sunglasses on my head when I went back to the uh, supermarket the next day and actually said something to the um, supermarket woman who checked me out she goes oh well I was going to say something but then I thought you might have it on for a reason so I didn't it's like okay <laughs> So yes, always check before you go out what you've got on your head. The final thing I'm doing was doing some mic making. So just to add in um, a little bit more interest, I'm using my three favourite colours. I was just having fun with it. Now, I decided because I had that pink streak on my face that I didn't particularly like, that I would just 
mess around with this image. I really had no idea of what I was going to do, but I'd been doing a lot of this sort of overpainting technique and I drew over the crown with the metallic scribble sticks and it came up really well. So I thought, oh, well, why not play around with the other um, scribble sticks and just have a go? So that's what I'm doing. So I'm using the shading that I've got in my image to help me paint in this painting. Now, I would really, really struggle to draw a realistic face. So by having this model um, or image in my journal to then just put the scribble sticks over the top of really, really helped because I could use where the shadows were to put the dark colors. I can see where the highlights were to put my lighter colors. And, you know, the colors come up from below anyway, so it kind of helps you create something look more realistic so you get this uh slide the filters you get sort of on paint or something where you put a photo in and you can turn it into a um, pencil picture or a watercolor picture or whatever so it's kind of like putting a filter over your picture and um, but it's lots of fun to do and i really like the fact i could use my own picture to do this now obviously if you didn't want to use a picture of yourself you can certainly do a, a magazine transfer into your journal or you can cut out a picture from a magazine and draw over the top of it. Lots of different ways for you to do it but um, for this it was just something that I really liked. You can see just by putting the whites of the eyes back in again it brings the image back to life again and um, makes it look like a human face again. So um, I always put the whites of my eyes in, whether it's a stamped image like on the other page or um, this image, it just made, sort of makes a difference somewhat. So I, putting the emotions into your artwork is painting something, I can't remember the quote but I quite like it, is what makes a picture a painting and I thought that really summed up this picture of, you know, actually using something of your own and putting some emotion of it into your, um, it makes it into a painting. So I hope you have a go at doing an image transfer and if you do an image transfer, challenge yourself to maybe do an image transfer of yourself and maybe have a go at painting over the top of it. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to check out the videos above and until next time, bye for now.